Hello, my name is Michelle and today I am super excited for this video. Today I'm going to be trying on every single horseshoe size septum ring color that is common or that I could find. So from top to bottom we have silver, gold, black, and rose gold. And then from left to right we have 6 millimeters, 8 millimeters, 9 millimeters, 10 millimeters, and 12 millimeters. And they all have a 16 gauge thickness and 3 millimeter balls. So I only have one rose gold one, that's because it was the most expensive one and it kind of looks like the gold one anyway, so that was like kind of like a bonus thing. You just use your imagination for the rest. See the main reason that I wanted to do this was because I was actually trying to save money by seeing which size would look the best on my nose but there's literally no like size comparison anywhere on the internet or like a video there's like one girl that made it but it was about septum rings not horseshoes so I thought maybe somebody else could find this useful who does want to save their money unlike me who just spent like $70 on this anyway so <laughs> I kind of played myself but hopefully this will help one of you should not have spent that much money especially on nose rings that I knew weren't gonna fit me like I know some of these definitely won't look good on me or anybody but I just pick them anyways just in case you want to see what they look like I will also be measuring my nose to see how big it is compared to yours so my nose is roughly three and a half centimeters across, five centimeters from top to bottom, and from the front to the back of the tip of my nose, it's 1.5 centimeters. Honestly, it's still pretty hard to tell, so hopefully the side-by-side -side comparisons will help you kind of figure out like what kind of ballpark you're looking at, or what color even, if you have the same skin tone as me, but hopefully you'll find one that you like. So I'm gonna sanitize these really quickly, and then I'll be right back. Please don't mind my wig. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'll introduce you to her like probably next week. All right, so I'm back. I have my piercings clean, and I took my them down hopefully there's no boogers in it but we'll see that in a bit <laughs> and look who decided to join me today lovely little mako all right so we are up close and personal maybe a little bit too up close and personal but that's okay because hopefully you can see my nose ring all right so we will take this one out you know, the thing that people don't really talk about with septum piercings is that putting it in and taking it back out is the most indescribable feeling. I can't take this out for some reason. But anyways, I'm gonna have to do this like 20 more times. <laughs> so we're gonna start out with the six millimeter ones in silver. I don't know if you can see this. I'll put a close up, but this is tiny. Like this was already hard to put in my nose and <laughs> this is even worse. I'm gonna try to put it in. Oh, it's definitely not gonna fit. I can't even find my hole with this. Yeah, it's not. It's not going through. Okay, so that shortened the video a little bit. So if your nose is bigger or the same size as mine, six millimeters won't work. Next up is eight millimeters in silver. This was my default piercing. This was also my friend's default piercing. You can definitely ask for different ones, but I think this one's a pretty common one to start off with. This was also the one I was wearing at the beginning, except this one wasn't stretched out by the piercer. So I'm gonna see if I can still flip it up even though it hasn't been stretched, and no I can't. So if you are planning to flip it up, I would ask the piercer to stretch it out a bit. So next is a 9mm also in silver. It is literally a millimeter difference and it's very hard to see, but trust me you can feel a difference and it hangs a little bit lower on my nose. I know it's a little bit lopsided. <laughs> um, my nose is a little bit crooked so I couldn't get it super straight, but um, I tried. All right, and now for the flip test. And yay, it is flip approved. See, a millimeter really does make a difference. Okay, quick intermission on how to flip a septum piercing. If you already know how to do this, you can skip it over, but I'm assuming some of you are kind of new, so we'll get into it. Basically, I have a flat Asian nose, so when I do push it up, I have to pull it a bit. It's kind of painful and like low-key really uncomfortable. This part kind of hurts, <laughs> but once you get past like one part, <laughs> it kind of gets better. I can't freaking laugh while I do this or else I'm going to cry. Okay, my nostrils are not like white people nostrils where they're like super elongated. And it's crooked, oh my god. Easy to get out, but very hard to put back in, so I'll just take it out for you to see. Basically, okay, I'll do it with two hands so it's easier to see. But basically, you just take it and it pulls out like pretty easily. Sorry, that was like really gross. Moving on, we have the 10 millimeters in silver. 
This one is noticeably different from the default one, so it's going to be a little bit bigger. And to be honest, I don't really like how it looks on me. It's a little bit too big, but that doesn't mean it won't look good on you. So if you're into bigger piercings, definitely go for it. And time for another flip test. And it's all good. The only thing is it's a little bit more uncomfortable than the other ones, but definitely still flippable. And the last of the silver ones is the 12 millimeters. This will probably be too big for my taste, but like I said before, if that's your thing, then go for it. Definitely bigger than what I'm used to. I can feel it like on my top lip. <laughs> final flip test because the other ones will be the same size anyways and it works but oh my god this one was so painful it's almost like when you have a nosebleed and you put tissue papers up your nose but it's sharp so if you're gonna be flipping it up and down i wouldn't recommend this one unless your nose is like a little bit bigger than mine obviously i hope that you're all grateful that i'm zooming into my crusty lips and fat nose but this is a side by side comparison of all of them okay and now we're moving on to gold i'm really excited because i actually haven't seen myself with a different color nose piercing since i've gotten it pierced in august the color is kind of washing out so it does look like the silver one but trust me it's the gold one Moving on now to 9mm in gold, this is probably my favorite size because it's small like the 8mm one, which I like, but you can also flip it up at the same time. And now 10mm in gold. And finally for gold, 12 millimeters. This one came tarnished, so I thought they gave me like an extra bonus color. So I was like, oh, it's copper, but it's actually just tarnished gold. Yet I still put it up my nose, so you're welcome. And here are the side-by-sides for gold. I hate these photos, but they're necessary. Then moving on to black. This is the only one that I think will be like significantly different looking than the other ones because the other ones kind of looked like they were all silver, so. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of Eleven in Stranger Things when she's having like the nosebleeds. Next is black in 9mm. And then black in 10 millimeters. And then the last black one, 12 millimeters. I keep on trying to show it from underneath, but it just ends up looking like I'm possessed by that thing in like Bird Box. And so here are the side-by-sides for the black ones. And finally, we have Rose Gold in 9mm. Ooh, and super special surprise! One of the stores gave me an extra piercing with 2mm balls, so this is what it looked like if you got a smaller size in the balls. Flip test for this one. This one was actually the most comfortable one to flip up. And so here are the side-by-sides of the bonus ones. Honestly, I would say that the rose gold one is probably my favorite one, but the one with the smaller balls are definitely easier to put up your nose and they don't feel as painful when you flip them up. So that's why I would like them or recommend them to you if you are gonna be flipping it up and down. But other than that, the nine millimeter ones are probably the best size just for my nose. 
and it was also still easy to flip up at the same time. Alright, so that's it for today. I really hope that this video helped you out in some way. Thank you so much for watching if you got this far. Have a great day and I will see you next time. What is going on?